I really hope that the skins we're getting this time have a little bit more like particle effects or something or, or just some kind of way to make it a little bit more prominent, right guys? Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about, oh man, we're actually going to be talking about a lot of things. We're going to be talking about the upcoming event, my little kind of like predictions for it, the new skins, the new triple R banner, we've got new codes, stuff like that. And so that was a pretty good summary. You guys have heard how much there is to cover. And so without further ado, let's jump into it. And of course the housekeeping comes first. First, so we have three new Jane's Notes codes. And so they are Hired Gun, Ultra Blade, and Stone Forces. You guys already know what it is. It's going to give you some gifts, some of the Jaspers, and some Nitium. And if you are new to the game, all you have to do is come over to this exclamation mark over here and then click into events. And then at the very bottom, you got Code Redeem Center. Click on to redeem now, punch in your code, and then away you go. So it's just right here. For example, Hired Gun, and then you click redeem now, and it should come right through. However, I've already redeemed them, so it's not going to work for me. And so guys, with that out of the way, let's talk about this Dune Fire Strike Eclipse Side Wave Defense. And it's these three freaking words, Eclipse Side Wave Defense, that gives me the impression that maybe we're going to be getting even more new mechanics. And that's pretty crazy, right? Even just in the last event, they introduced like the whole uh, chessboard mimicking moves kind of thing. And only in the latest chapter did they introduce like locked cells and all of that. This just really shows that they are actually like putting in so much effort and development time and design time into like bringing new and fresh content. And so with that being said, I really wanted to highlight these three words, Eclipse Sight Wave Defense. It, there's, there's a lot of things that come to mind, to be honest. Me personally, I think Eclipse Sight Wave Defense is probably gonna be very similar to like that machine thing. Uh, which one is it? For example, this is just one of those boards, but essentially like there is a stage, I think it's like the farming for the Colossus material stage, where you actually have to defend like a machine on this side of the field. And then on the other side, you've got like Eclipse Sight spawning and moving towards you this way. And so the goal is to not only clear all of the eclipse sites, but also to be able to defend that machine. This is just a really, really rudimentary guess to me. I think that's probably what it's going to be. However, this time, my confidence in my guess is actually quite low. I think that I'm going to be pretty wrong about this because I'm talking about like an existing mechanic. And when I see this over here, Eclipse Eye Wave Defense, it just makes me feel like they're going to be introducing something new. And so you guys let me know what you think Eclipse Eye Wave Defense is going to be and also check out this promotional video. This PV is straight awesome. However, I'm not going to watch it because I don't want to spoil it for you guys and so just go and experience it yourself you can watch it on youtube or you can head over to probably their pinned post over here yep and then so they've got it running up here as well and so remember guys last thing about this one is that the event will be dropping in about three days and will last three weeks and so hopefully you guys are fully juiced up and ready to go all right so the next thing i want to talk about is this guy over here which is the next recruiting rotating oh my god rotating recruitment banner i still don't know what the third r is i swear there was a rotating recruitment another r anyway as you guys can see Raphael, Faust, and Noah, I think I did get it right. And guys, to be honest, in my opinion, the only unit that's really worth rolling for is Faust here. I think Raphael is okay, but I don't think she is like a must-have like Michael or like Iridan. And if you guys do want a little bit more information on that one in terms of like why I don't really rate Raphael that highly, you guys can go check it out in my previous video where I talk about the RRR banners. And so now that we have this banner revealed to us, the Raphael, Faust, and Noah banner, my predictions for the next triple R banner is actually like in shambles. And really the reason that it's in shambles is because they've been doing like this angel theme for like the last three or four banners or so. So we had Michael, we had Gabrielle, we had Raphael now. And so logically speaking, you would think that we're going to be getting Uriel next. However, as I pointed out in my last video, Uriel did come on right up at the start of the game. And it has only been a hundred days since the start of the game and other units have not been on right up yet. I'm talking like Jonah, I'm talking Charon, I'm talking Connolly. There's just like plenty of units that are probably going to get right up from here on out. I don't think it's going to be Uriel next, but like surprise me to a dog. And then as for the second one, we have Faust over here. After Faust, we have actually cleared all four of the four tile converters at five stars. And so this slot is going to open up. I suspect it's probably going to go towards DPS units. And the reason that I think it's going to be DPS units is because it's kind of like the last ones left, right? So just with the list up here, I reckon it's going to be like Araya or Korax or Cascada, Dana. It could be Keating. It could be Mia. It could be Oddi. Benny and Kuro, Regina, I think you guys get the idea because I think we have actually finished rotating through a whole bunch of the different supports as well as the four tile converters for five stars. And so really, I think that's my guess for the next ones on here, actually, both Noah and Faust. As for whether you should roll on this or not, I would say go for the guaranteed five star and then drop it. Again, Raphael, as cute as she is, I think she is pretty low priority. Okay, let's move on to the next
next thing, which is the skins, which is super, super exciting. And so let's kick things off with the first skin that was revealed, this one over here, which is a Vice skin. And so as you can see, we have Sakura Memories over here, and this is a really freaking beautiful skin. And I love this, right? It's just like, you know, it's the classic kimono with all the Sakura blossoms and stuff like that. And on top of that, it is for the main heroine Vice, and she is really getting some preferred treatment, which is pretty nice to see. And in terms of like how to acquire it, I'll tell you guys in a second after we run through all the different skins. And so next we have Jane, who is going to be getting a Halloween themed skin. For you guys who don't know Jane, Jane is a water unit. She handles all the Jane's notes and stuff for the social media. But as you can see, this is a really Halloween-esque skin, and I believe she is the four star here. Very, very nice skin. However, with that being said, let's move on to the next one, which is going to be Barton. And so I think this is such a classic one. It's like young Barton, you know what I'm saying? It's like when in some of the animes or like the games that we play, like there's a young version. Like we've got seasoned Commander Barton. You see he's all like roughed up and stuff. In his OG image, he kind of looks like he's seen some real shit. And then we flick back over here and you can see like he is so calm and serene and he just looks so much younger. And it's quite possible that this is him at his prime or like him before he became a commander, something like that, right? And so yeah, this is Barton's skin and it looks like he's going to go out sailing on an adventure. And so with that being said, let's move on to the next skin, which is going to be Sharona. Here we go. So Sharona, as you can see, she is right riding a freaking horse again another Halloween themed one but my god like this is so tasteful it is like oh man this is great look at those freaking leggings look at her freaking clothes look at that horse she's got a freaking horse and so considering she has a horse I would hope that her in-game model also has a horse but otherwise that's kind of it for Sharona she kind of reminds me of like a Dullahan from Halloween but yeah moving on to our last one it's gonna be Hero so here we've got Biker Hero which is a pretty funny concept now that I think about it but the skin name is Black last from the past and like combined with that youngish looking Barton, this really leads me to believe that this June Fire Strike event is probably going to set place in the past. As always, this is pure speculation. If I get it wrong, you guys cannot sue me. Please don't sue me. I'm a broke boy. But yeah, in terms of like the hero and the Barton skin, they, they seem themed or like thematically related to the June Fire Strike event. And so that kind of wraps up the news in terms of the skins that we will be getting. And so I want to introduce to you guys this screenshot over here, which tells you guys how to get each of the skins. So to kick things off, we have Vice's skin, which is a paid outfit of the special event book phase two. For you guys who are newer to the game, the special event book is essentially the battle pass of the game. And so the Vice skin is going to be a paid outfit on that one there. On the other hand, we have the Halloween Jane skin as the free outfit for the special event book as well. And so we're starting to see a pattern here, right? So we got the free Uriah skin from the last one and now we're getting the Jane. And so what it sounds like is that they intend to give out the four star skins for free generally for the battle passes. And then on the other hand, they're going to have Poster Girl Vice as the paid outfit for the uh, battle pass as well. Me personally, I think like the two times Vice is actually a coincidence. The fact that we have a swimsuit Vice as well as like that kimono Vice. I don't think that that theory is going to hold up. I reckon that they could slip literally anyone into there, but I could be wrong. And then moving on, we have Barton, Sharona and Hero. And so it looks like we do have another precedent set here, which is one five star and two six stars. And so I guess with all of this, we can start seeing a pattern in like the skin releases. We're going to be having having the free one, probably four star from the battle pass itself. For the paid battle pass, we're probably going to get another five star skin. And then on top of that, in the store, we're going to get one five star and two six stars. And I think this is going to be the pattern moving forward. And so that's it for the upcoming skins. However, speaking of skins, I do want to talk about them for a little bit. As you can see, I did end up getting the Carleen skin. However, to get the Carleen skin, I had to stack the monthly pretty hard. Because if I don't, and we actually went with the recharge method with just these flat Luma crystal like bonuses. I just feel like I have been outpriced now. And because these outfits or skins are coming out at like such a rapid rate, I'm going to be assuming that each skin is approximately $22 AUD for me. And I think that's about like 15 USD. And so whilst this time I was willing to pick up the Carleen and the Icy skin, I think moving forward, I am not willing anymore. And honestly, guys, like skins as monetizations, I think this is the method to go for. I'm very happy that they've done it this way. It's just that for me personally, I think I've been outpriced especially for what you get. So if we go into like the menu, we essentially get like a live 2D and like in the outfit section, there is also like
like kind of a cutscene kind of thing. And then on top of that, you do see it in battle. However, I feel like that's not really good enough because even in battle, both Carleen, Icy, and even Vice actually, none of them really have like any particle effects. Like there's not really any dramatic difference in each of the skins compared to their base. But on top of that, the majority of the time, like you can't even see them because chances are you're not running them as leader. And so to pay like 15 USD or like for me, like 22, something like that. Yeah, about 22 AUD for something like that. I just personally, me personally, I don't feel like it's worth it. For me personally, and this is just an opinion, their data may show otherwise. I feel like skins as they are with just like new 3D models and a live 2D, I feel like they should either be significantly cheaper or they just really need a lot more effects to make it worth it. But again, all of the skins that they produce are really freaking nice. Please don't let me discourage you from getting them. If you guys do think that they are worth it, go ahead and get them and just brag to me how you have money to burn, okay? But yeah, for me personally, I'm probably not gonna pick up any skins anymore unless they put out like a really nice Iridin skin, something like that, right? But yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on the skins. I would really be keen to hear what you guys have to say. And so I guess that makes that the secret question of the day. So how do you guys feel about the skins in its current state? Are you guys happy with the pricing? If not, what would you prefer? On top of that, so looking at the new skins, so you've got the hero one, you've got the Sharona one over here. How do you guys feel about it? Are you guys gonna pick them up? Because honestly, I looked at that Sharona skin and I'm like, frick, man. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll pick this one up too. But yeah, me personally, I really hope that Tour Dog does do something a little bit more extra than just like reskins. Anyway, guys, if you guys could drop your thoughts down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've made it up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow, and go check out the PV. If you would like to support the channel, we do have a couple of different ways down in the description below. We've got affiliate links and we've got a membership thing as well. But otherwise, as Young Barton once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.